Hey, what's up my YouTube viewers? So recently I traded in my Xbox One to my local uh, little game store uh, and ended up picking up a Switch. Now right off the bat, I do have some buyer's remorse because I'm not com completely pleased with the amount of games and stuff that are in the library. Um, there are some games in there, but the thing that sucks about it is a lot of times Nintendo wants you to pay full price. Uh, full retail price for the games that are in there. So I'm going to do some searching around, see if I can find um, disc-based games used somewhere, you know, checking online, checking Craigslist, checking a, p a bunch of different different places, um, even Gamefly and stuff like that. But um, there are some, uh, I guess there are some titles in there that are are cool, but um, I would expect, I I'm, I'm kind of biased because I'd like to see some of the older school games uh, revamped and in the Nintendo store. I would love, and uh, one thing I wish this console, the Switch, did have, was a slot for the 3DS games. I don't know why Nintendo didn't do, you know, put a slot on there for the 3DS games for you to be able to play your 3DS games on a, on a big screen and and you know ha this having some 3D capability, but they didn't. Um, also, the console itself does not have a camera. Um, that's not necessarily that's not a, a a deal breaker, but I do hope that. Um, Nintendo does something so you can actually um, import and you know kind of do stuff with your photos on this device. So the the biggest thing that I want to see Nintendo do, I think this is a solid handheld device, but hopefully they upgrade the upgrade the firmware and software on this device and allow you to do stuff. Now Bluetooth is not built into the Switch yet that I know of. So what I have here is I have uh, this MPAL. And you see it says TX and RX. So this is a Bluetooth receiver and transmitter. And what I'm doing here is I'm transmitting audio to these two JBL clips. And these clips are cool because if you are playing and moving around, you can actually clip with the clip here to your belt or, you know, your little uh, belt loops. And you can, you know, walk around and have uh, the music blaring as if that was appropriate. <laughs> anyway... Um, right now, I'm playing um, the demo of Implosion, which is pretty cool so far. Um, I'm liking the way it sounds and everything. But the 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 whole thing about this though is like um, the reason why I sold my Xbox One is that I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to end up getting up Xbox One X or maybe even just an S. But um, I was I wasn't really playing my Xbox, and the Switch had been out for a while. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me give the uh, Switch a try. Um, another thing that's going to make this thing uh, a whole lot better is if people out there, you know, design different cool cases and controllers and different stuff and docking stations. I'm not pleased with the current docking station because I've looked at the different reviews and, and everything and they said it does scratch your screen if you're taking it in and out of there and you're not careful. So I did go on Amazon. I ordered a, a Moomba case. And I've also ordered a screen protector, so I'm trying to be gentle with this thing. Um, the screen protectors and stuff should be here in the next couple of days, I think at least by by Wednesday. Um, and uh, yeah, but hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully users out there, I hopefully see some like, you know, some 3D printed cases and different stuff to make this thing really, really cool. And um, with this right here, I do not feel safe about this because... Uh, I had a friend that actually dropped his iPad while he had, um, you know, like the the port plugged in and, and it actually snapped off the little thing inside his iPad. I don't want that to happen to my uh, to my Nintendo Switch. Um, Nintendo, what they need to do, though, is is, is a, an off, you know, um, another company needs to make a, a transmitter, but that is slim. And it fits along the edge so you don't have that sticking out like that and being a, a potential hazard of getting snapped off in the headphone port. Um, but, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that people can do um, to make this thing better. The, the modding community and everyone out there that does all that cool stuff is definitely going to make this, uh, you know, the, three, the Switch worthwhile. But Nintendo themselves really needs to up their game as far as, um, you know, the software and firmware and everything. Um and I would like to see, you know, I still like the feature that Nintendo had. I don't know if it's going to be in this, but I like the kind of the near field like communication stuff where, you know, someone's near you, you're able to play against them and stuff. They need to keep that. They need to have an online service and they need to have a service where, you know, you have um, you're able to do kind of like these ad hoc, you know, local parties and stuff because um, 
that to me that'll get a lot of that'll get the console a lot of use out of the console i don't know why you know a lot of games even uh with the xbox they've went away from system link i think all games should have some form of offline play because when the servers go down people still want to play these games regardless of how old they are but um you know i don't know but uh, most of the time these big companies don't listen to our ideas so it's 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 kind of like the hackers and all the stuff have to implement this stuff themselves to make this stuff work but like i said i would love to see a vast library of online and offline capability for the Switch. But peace out. Um, I'm going to be also on Anchor, uh, probably talking about this stuff. Anchor's a podcast, a little app. I'm probably going to do some stuff on there, but um, I'll let you guys know. Peace out.